goodies have arrived. Great, so let the fun begin in the lab. That's right. So it's really easy to set up. The first thing you're gonna do is form the guide RNA. So to do this, you're gonna add the CRISPR RNA that we designed and the tracer RNA together. So I already added the CRISPR RNA. Now we'll take some tracer RNA. We're gonna mix it together. And then what you do with this is you just let it anneal. So first you're gonna heat it to 95 degrees for five minutes and then let it slowly cool on the lab bench. That's it, that's it, easy as that. And once that's done, then you add in the Cas9 and that's gonna form the full ribonucleoprotein complex. And that is easy too. Again, it's just a room temperature incubation for about 10 to 20 minutes. Also super easy. So once it's complete and everything's ready, the next thing to do is to add it to the cells. And there's a number of ways you can do this. If you have access to a nuclear effector instrument, that would be ideal. Um, and in that case, you would just follow their cell line specific protocol for the cell line that you're working with. Um, it's really easy and straightforward to do. Okay, now for my favorite part. Ooh, what's that? Now we get to see if we got the insertion or not. So this is really easy to do in the lab. Um, Hybrid is so much easier to work with than some of the other ones. You don't have to do PCR to analyze if you got an insertion. You don't have to do a full on Western blot. You can just use our Hybrid detection reagent, add it and go. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is make a cell suspension. If you have suspension cells, they're already in suspension. If they're adhering, you're gonna trypsinize and make your cell suspension. And then you're gonna plate it out. I'd recommend plating some in a six wheel plate that you can continue to propagate and then make a replicate plate in a 96 wheel plate like we did here. So once your cells are plated in there, all you do is take your hybrid detection reagent and you add it to the cells. And then you let it incubate for a little bit and you go and read it on the plate reader. That's it? That's it. It's really easy. You add one reagent and you're ready to go. So you'll have your unedited control in there and you'll be able to compare that to your guide RNAs and by how much light you have, you can see the efficiency of your insertion. Um, there's easy ways to normalize the data for cell number. So you can either count your cells before you plate them, or we have a lot of interesting assays you can multiplex right in the same well with these. Cell viability assays where you can get an idea of your cell number per cell or per well, and you can normalize in that way as well. And there are some other ways you can analyze it also. So let's say you had an extracellular protein or a secreted protein. We have a live cell hybrid detection reagent as well where you don't lyse the cells um, and you can analyze it that way. And we have other multiplexes you can do with that assay as well in the same well um, that will give you a way to normalize your data for cell number. And we also have our hybrid blotting system. So it's similar to a Western blot, but a lot easier and a lot faster, taking advantage of the hybrid tag. And when you use that, you can really confirm if you have your full size um, protein there as well. Definitely giving, getting a research project done faster is the way I like to do it. That's right.